So I finally got one of the thin wall boxes to print <laughs> correctly. Good job. <laughs> Thanks to your advice. Yeah. And I'm about to move on to doing infill so I can make bigger prints. Sure. Do you have any advice for me on that one? Actually, I was just printing a calibration print over on the other printer in this room. No way. Um, it's like you can read my mind. Yeah. Um, so the thing that stands out on this print here is you have an infill pattern now that you didn't have on your previous print. Yes. Um, there are six options you can choose from. Those are rectilinear, grid, triangular, wiggle, honeycomb, and fast honeycomb. Uh, each one has its own purpose, um, but for this print I chose grid. So what you may not see in this print here is the retract settings, and that's actually what I was trying to dial in. Okay, so what's so important about dialing into those retract settings? So your retract is actually where you move from one corner to another corner of your print, or one position to another position if you're not doing a square print. Okay. Um, and it's a non-print move, so you don't want material to ooze out of your extruder. To dial that in, you don't want blobs and zits on your corners, um, and that would indicate that you don't have enough retract, or you have too much of a restart distance. Okay. Um, the other thing that you need to look for is that you're not drooling as you move from one corner to the other corner. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would indicate that you're also not retracting enough. And those strands just get everywhere. Yeah, they're like a spider web. Not fun. So when I do this, can I do it on the control box? Is that where I... Make Unfortunately, those no. If you see you need to make an adjustment, you'll have to pause your or cancel your print and okay. adjust it in your G-code on your slice. To adjust your retract settings, go into Edit Process Settings and Simplify 3D. Select the extruder you're printing with and move into the Ooze Control section. And move on to each different setting you can adjust. You can increase your retraction distance, your restart distance, uh, retraction vertical lift, speed, and your coast and wipe distance. And okay. adjust it in your G-code on your slicer. Red button it. Yeah, don't hit the red button. Okay, don't ever hit the red button. <laughs> After that great advice from Scott, I'm ready to tackle this infill print, and I hope you are too. If you have questions or any comments, click the link or send us a message, and stay tuned for our next video.